Hello everybody, and it's Wolfie, or Wolfgang, some people call me, or maybe even Wolfie Worldwide, whatever you want to call me. Um, I'm Wolfgang from first page of, all one word, hyphen google.com. And today I want to show you the magic of SEO, which means search engine optimization, for your local business listing in Google Places. So, here we go. And I'm going to start off by showing you how a local business listing looks on Google Places. So I've typed in estate agents Tenerife. The reason I've done that is because on my own niche, which is help for local business, it's not coming up like that yet because we're in Tenerife. Uh, it would do in England, but there we go. So there we are. We have seven listings on this page. And below that we have the organic listings. And if this job is done correctly, by that I mean this job is uh, properly optimised you'll find you get one listing here and you'll also get another listing in the organic uh, results you see on this first um, result here we've got uh, Tenerife estate agents, Tenerife properties, bargains stuff like that now if we click on this link here you'll find, I'm going to click on it quickly it should come up with their website but it's loading very very slowly and there we are, it's come up with the website Torres Don Yomli from 69,000 that's not bad is it? ok let's go back and you'll find if we click on this other link here it will take us into Google Places and we can see their listing and there it is but anyway I don't want to bore you with this I want to, but the reason I've shown you that is because my own niche doesn't come up in the same way uh, I have to go into Google Maps to see what my position is amongst my competitors now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of the estate agents and I'm just going to type in local marketing marketing and there we go and you find that I'm number one but my listing for some reason comes up in Spanish and uh, it's not actually in Spanish I did make two listings I made a Spanish one and I made an English one because I live in a country that speaks both languages um, and we're allowed to do that so I did and then because it kept coming up in Spanish I got rid of the Spanish listing Oh, but believe me, it still comes up in Spanish. If anybody uh, tries to put something like that into their browser in England, local market in Tenerife, uh, it should come up in English, I'm hoping so, because I think it's coming up in Spanish here because I'm on a, I'm in Spain, basically, and uh, it knows my IP address, and that's why it's giving me a, a Spanish listing. But anyway let's now try and get rid of the Tenerife thing because we're in here anyway and you'll find that if I just put local marketing in we still up come, come up number one but if I also put in local business we should still come up number one yes we do and you find that uh, you may think I don't have any competitors but you can see that I do have competitors uh, and let's see how many results we actually get for that result we've got 793 so I've got uh, around about 793 competitors for that phrase but we still manage to up number one when I get there and there we are now I'm going to try something else I'm going to try putting in the first page of Google first page of Google and see where we end up with that I'll click on here and there we are, we come up number one again but we've also got a hotel Las Palmeras 
Uh, what it tends to do, if there's not enough searches for something, it tends to stick hotels in there. Uh, Tenerife properties. These are the things that are more searched. And that's why it's difficult for me to actually come up on the normal web listings. But never mind. Uh, I hope you can see what what we're doing here is, is good. Let's get rid of that. And let's try and pin just business help. Business help. So I'm competing with hotels, am I? But we have got to... Uh, on the hotel again. See, even my competitors are not coming up for these phrases. Tenerife properties, Alabama. No, they're not. But I have got competitors here. Anyway, uh, so that shows you that. And I want to show you a couple of other things. Let's have a look at this. We'll click this tab. You can get directions to this business. You can search no near nearby. You can zoom here, you can get a street view, you can write a review about the business, you can save to maps, oops, which I just clicked by accident, and uh, let's get it again, or you can send it to a friend. But let's just have a look at the street view for now, shall we? And watch what happens, and there you go, that's where this video is actually being made. Now let's try something else. How do I get... Um, I tell you what, I'm going to stick in internet marketing. In to net marketing, just to prove you. Ding. That uh, I have got competitors and I won't be number one on this, so we'll click it. And there we are, we've got uh, internet marketing. This is a paid for ad. Sorted sites, and then we are we've come up number two for that particular phrase. I knew I wouldn't come up number one for that because he's got internet marketing there. But anyway, this proves that I have got competitors. Look at them, there's loads of them. How many results have we got for internet marketing? Let's see. Oh, only 235. I've only got 235 competitors here. Now, but I'll show you something else. If I put in there, local, and see what happens. And there we are, we're number one again. Wow, well, <laughs> that's it. But anyway, let's just put uh, local marketing. See what, see what we get. We're back to number one again. Uh, local business, I think I've done that one. Uh, let's try. I haven't shown you what I've been intending to show you, so let's let's try something diffi different. Let's try. What would a local business put in? I need. More customers. Let's see what we get for that. There we are, we're number one. And the reason we've done that, because I haven't got, I need more customers in my listing at all. Um, <coughs> but it's pulled it from my website. In other words, it's it's gone to my meta descriptions, which is a description that is not visible to the customers or to the people visiting the website, but visible to Google so that it knows what the business is about and it's got simply put you can expect more sales more customers and more profits to find out more you can contact me by clicking here or by telephone on and we've also got another link so we've got one link here back to my website and we've got another link there so that's two chances people have of getting back to your website I'm hoping that you're beginning to see what search engine optimization is um, and why it's important to have your website very very well optimized because if it wasn't this wouldn't happen um, but anyway let's try uh, more profits then shall we let's try that profits
there we go there again one stop problem shop still got competitors look more of its properties and we're back on properties and stuff like that and hotels unfortunately this is a very small island but it shows what you can do with local marketing um, if you have a local business in somewhere say such as Leeds or Bradford or whatever you won't have that many competitors so it should be quite easy to get you on page one and yet when I look in the, the Google help forum people are saying people are saying I've got a business listing but I can't find it uh, it's not coming up page one how can I get and they're all desperate to get their businesses on page one of Google and if you hire an expert you can do it there we are Google Places we've got um, Google Places own advert there right underneath it in position number one we have my website I'd be most interested if anybody actually found this in England um, just type in local internet marketing uh, Tenerife and you should find uh, my business over here and let's see if it's in English or not because I'm most curious to find out if it is but thank you for your time for watching this short video I don't want to make it too long I know it becomes a little boring but if you did like the video please click the link below or even leave me a comment I'd be most uh, keen I love comments you know and I love getting involved in discussions as well um, so and if you want to visit my uh, website click on the link below the video it will be there in YouTube if it's not in YouTube it will surely be somewhere very near so thank you for taking the time